Five stars on the popular comedy series entitled Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23, which airs Tuesday. Oh, it's another network. Damn. Oh, well, you know, but we had one from our network. I know, but I would like them to all be from our network. I would like this show to be on our... Well, let's just do that right here. Go back, Tony. Our next guest stars on the popular comedy series entitled Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23, which airs Tuesdays at 9.30 p.m. right here on CBS. <laughs> Kristen Ritter. Beautiful dress. It's a lovely, lovely dress. Thank you so well, thank much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good to see you here again. Uh, here's what I remember from our first visit small town in, on a farm, actually, in Pennsylvania. Yes, in Shikshini, Pennsylvania. Shikshini. Uh, is that a Native American word? It is. Do you know it's what it means? It means five mountains. That's beautiful, isn't I'm it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Pretty sure that's what it means. And were, were there five mountains there? Yes, yes. That's great. Yeah, the supermarket was called Five Mountain Market, so uh, I'm pretty sure that that means Shikshini. Yeah, now was this, uh, was this in the, in the uh, I'm so ignorant, but Poconos? Do you um, no, it's, it's like, it's northeastern Pennsylvania, it's like four hours from here, it's like two hours from Poconos, uh, it's just Appalachia. I see. Well, it just sounds beautiful. Yeah. And, and, and how long did you live there now? Not. I was life? there, you know, um, I was there until I moved to the city at 18. Um, I moved to the farm when I was 12, my parents got remarried, and I had moved from a little town where I could ride my bike places, and now all of a sudden I'm in the middle of nowhere, and there's no kids nearby, there's, this the school bus stop was like two miles away, I was literally in the middle of nowhere. So this really is out in the... Middle of nowhere. And then you come to New York City, and how did you get here? Was it, what are you, you were a model, right? Yes, I was a model, and before I was a model, all I wanted to do was get out. So I knew... To get I, out of Chicago. Get out of Shikshini. That was the goal. Get out and don't ever go back. Oh, um, really? Now that sounds hard. That's my whole like plan for my career. Come up with a scheme to make a buck so I never have to go back to the farm. Now, what what about the poor folks of Shikshini? Well, I love them. I just stuck out like a sore thumb. I mean, the two, I'll tell you about this. Fit in. I didn't fit in at all. I looked is he, like is it this. Is it Amish country? Yes, it's Amish country. Well, no wonder. Yeah. <laughs> two really not so glamorous jobs on the farm. Mm -hmm. One of them, I had to um, pick up rocks and litter along the property. Now we're talking like a hundred acre farm, and in Pennsylvania, I think people go to fast food restaurants just to get garbage to throw out their windows. You know, uh, this is going to sound silly, but I couldn't agree with you more because 90% of what you pick up that other people have littered is food containers and plastic paper plastic cups bottles. from fast food. Right. Yes, That's and right. they have gross things in them in That's Pennsylvania. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, not just Pennsylvania. Yeah. Well, everywhere. People, like, you know, mm -hmm. like, chew tobacco uh, and spit it yeah. into their So you had to pick the stuff, stuff up. Right. Now, do you still do that? I still do that. I can't go anyplace without picking up uh, stuff I see on the road. I'm an aggressive recycler. Good. I don't have any plastic bottles going in or out of my house anymore. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Like, um, I get, I have a Brita and I have a soda stream, so I don't ever buy plastic. I don't know what those are. Okay, Brita? <laughs> You have to get one. It's a genius. It's just the thing that filters your water so you can drink it's it. It's a water filter? Yes. Okay, and what's the, uh, uh, the soda, stream. soda stream? I don't know. Genius. I'm really into uh, carbonated water. I don't know why. It, water just gets a little too boring for me. Yeah. So it's just this great contraption that you can turn regular water into bubbly water. I don't work for them. Yeah. I just really like this product. It's great. And, and, so. and how does it carbonate? Does it infuse it with uh, carbon dioxide? Yeah, yeah, and it has like a big container you get it. Like a big, yeah. a big tank? Yeah, a big tank. Wow, and is it pressurized? The yes, tank? yes. So it could... Uh, it could explode in your face. I'm always terrified. I'm yeah. always like... Yeah. It's just very... And how often do you have it refilled? Um, you know, like every... Like, you can get like 70 bottles of water out of it. So, wow. you know, like two, two months. Now, do you, do you have other things like... Uh, uh, you don't have a television. You didn't have one for a while? I didn't have a television for two years, and I Good survived. Good for you. Good for you. Thank you. Did you decide that I don't want a television, I don't need a television, or what, what was the problem? Two Someone, things. Mm -hmm. I'm very frugal. I'm a, kind of a cheapskate. So I thought I could save $150 a month not having cable. Is that, is that what it is, $150 a month? Well, I just got cable, and I got the package that is $29.99, and...
and the only two shows that I really want to watch are Dog Whisperer and American Horror Story. And I don't have Nat Geo or FX. Mm. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I gotta get a better, better package. But yeah, it's about $150. I remember years and years ago, I had lunch. Now listen to this. Kay. I had lunch with Rupert Murdoch. Okay. And I said to him, I said, cable doesn't make sense to me. I mean, isn't one day everything going to be delivered by satellite? And he said, oh, no, 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 okay, well, I said, are you kidding me? You got to dig up the street, you got to dig up your yard, you got to get a fat guy out there between nine and three. And they never show up anyway. They never show up anyway. I said, it's all coming from the satellite. And by God, it turns out I was right. Rupert Murdoch was wrong. How, how many times do you think that's happened? Probably many never, times. no. You ought, you ought to get the satellite stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how much does the satellite cost? You know, you can just watch everything on the internet, too. <laughs> like, that's what most people are doing now. I watch all of my TV on the internet. Yeah. And what, what other than those two shows, that's it? The Horse Whisperer and the... No, no, the Dog Whisperer. Dog Whisperer. Um, have you seen that show? It's no, amazing. I've heard about it. It's a guy who did... Uh, trains dogs. Mm -hmm. Nothing happens. Mm. But I'm, you know, I'm a girl. Do you have a dog? I do. Well, there you go. Now, do you find the Dog Whisperer to be effective? Yes, although I'm pretty sure that he would tell me I'm doing every single thing wrong. My yeah. dog bites people. Oh. And um, he's a rescue. He comes with baggage. He's worth it. Yeah. But um, when I first got him, he doesn't like when strangers, like, reach down and pet him. And you know what? I don't either. So... Well, then wait a minute. Wait a minute. What, what was going on back there on the farm, exactly? <laughs> Good Lord, strangers dropping by to pet her. It's like people touching her. <laughs> That's not right. Yeah. yeah. So anytime Mikey would bite somebody, I don't know how to properly like correct him. Mm -hmm. So I would pick him up and be like, no, Mikey, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. But then Mikey's like, <laughs> yeah, That's fine. <laughs> that's exactly what well, I wanted to just, happen. That's just fine. Don't yeah. worry about that. Yeah. How old is Mikey? Mikey is, um, I just had, uh, we just had our one year anniversary of owning him. Um, but he's like two or three. Two or three. They don't really know. When they come from the streets, they just tell you. Sure, they're going to lie yeah. about their age anyway. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. To, to get out of the pen, they're yeah. going to tell you they're... Oh, it's a puppy. He's yeah. going to live for ten more years. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, and uh, what, how long will you be in New York? Um, I'm actually leaving tomorrow. Uh, and uh, what do you do while you're in town? Well, I, mostly this. Oh, no. thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate that. I came just to see you. Well, that's very nice. And uh, uh, congratulations on the success of your show. I see that it is back now on CBS. It's been officially moved. Oh, it's and, moved Yeah, to there CBS. it is. Right there on the card. It's been moved to CBS. It's Tuesday. That's just great. As long as I'm employed and I have a job I get to go to, that's I don't care where it's, where it is. Perfect attitude. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank nice you to see you again. Good luck. I appreciate it. You're fine.